Well, here it is. Order this on Facebook Marketplace. Damn, I did not know it would be shipping in this. Well, let's get it open. All right, first impression. All right. Smells a little smoky. All right, uh, let me get it out of the box now. Everything stayed intact. nice. It's really in good shape. It's got all the knobs. Zenith logo. A little loose. Original back. Um, I want to go ahead and just right off the bat test the uh, CRT, see how it tests. Here it is, cleaned it up a bit more. Uh, the owner put tape on the screen so it wouldn't move around during shipping and that tape took off the paint. That's unfortunate. Uh, I might refinish the cabinet, I'm not sure yet. Um, clean the knobs, they were pretty dirty. I think the set came from a smoker's house because it smells pretty smoky. Uh, I'm gonna take the back off and then see what we're working with. I'm gonna test the CRT. I'll go ahead and film that as well. All right, this set just reeks of cigarettes. That's really annoying that the guy I bought it from didn't tell me beforehand. This just reeks of cigarettes. So it's gonna need a really deep clean. Dropping resistor looks like is fried. I guess that's still good. I had another Zenith 50 set that had this that just flaked away. Um, I mean, it looks like the chassis can just slide out and you just work on it, which is nice. Um, all right, I'm going to get my tube tester. 17 CRP4, meter volts 6.3, regular socket, G2 volts is 50, got it at 50, and then the range is between 24 and 50 for the G1. All right, let's go ahead and... I'm going to slowly raise it up. Oh, it's got like a like a metal sheath on it, so I can't see it lighting up. That's all right. Um, I'm gonna slowly bring it up to six point three. There, six point three volts. I'm gonna leave it at that for a couple minutes just so it heats up. I don't know how long it's been off for. I'll give it a second. All right, it's been heating up for a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and see if it has shorts. No shorts, let's check emission. Oh, wow, emission's good. All right, cut off. Wow, this is a really good tube. 
Holy shit. I didn't expect for it to be this good. I mean, with how awful it looks in there. Hell yeah. So the tube is good. Now I can begin the long, painful restoration process. All right, so the TV has been in storage for about a week. I didn't have space for it in my house and I wanted to get it out of my house, to be honest, because it just reeks of cigarettes. Um, so I picked it back up. I'm taking it over to a friend's house who has an air hose. I'm just gonna air out air hose out the inside be careful around the transformers transformer coils um, and just see if that makes a difference because I do want the, to take this back to my to my house to get it working again or to work on it hopefully get it working again but uh yeah we'll see All right, quick update. I got the shell here. Um, gonna go ahead and strip the paint and repaint it with this with a similar looking um, similar looking color. Uh, just because there's a, some rust on the sides, and I just want it to have a clean new look to it. Uh, I'm still waiting on other pieces to come in for the chassis, the horizontal oscillator coil and the horizontal output tube. So that's the update. All right, little update. I got the horizontal output tube replacement. Um, that resist that resistor right there I replaced with an 8 ohm 10 watt resistor um, I got the new uh, There it is right there the horizontal Oscillator coil replacement <clears throat> So I got everything hooked up Should be ready to turn on um, Yeah, well, let's go ahead and give this a try I have a uh, basically a watt meter it says how much um, how much voltage is being drawn how many watts are being drawn so let's go ahead and test that out okay it's off go ahead and plug her up nervous but let's go ahead and see what happens um, I put the, the knob on here All right, huge update. Let me uh, turn the volume down and tell you the update. 
So, I got the TV working. I got it playing over here on a, on another set. And I got it playing here. Pretty good image. Pretty good image. Um, so, update. Sync separator tube was wrong. So, that was my last problem I had. Very frustrating, but it's fixed now. The smoke from the last video you saw, I had the, uh, the diodes put in backwards because I'm a fool and I messed it up. So that's where all that smoke came from. Once I flipped the diodes, tubes lit up. I was having very, uh, a very hard time trying to get this set correct because the horizontal and vertical were way off. I got the new IF, three IF video amp IF tubes um, replaced. Um, got the correct tube. The, the, one of these tubes was wrong. Actually, both of these tubes were wrong in the uh, tuner circuit. I got a new um, horizontal oscillating tube, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, after a ton of troubleshooting, let's see if I can get... I'm trying to make it so there's a little less. It's just a little too. Eh, that's a bit better. I don't like the over contrast look because it makes the darks way too dark. So this is a good, I'd say a good medium right here. I got the contrast turned all the way down. I like it. I think this image looks honestly better than uh, my RCA right there. Um, I changed uh, a couple of the peaking coil or the peaking coils in there I changed. There was a geranium geranium diode here that I changed. There was a um, horizontal oscillating diode. I think that's what it's called. No, no, no. Right there. Horizontal AFC diode. That was shorted. I had to change that, and I believe that honestly did help me with the, uh, um, with the sync, with the picture uh, locking in, which is great. But yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm still working on the case. The case is over at a friend's house. I'm still working on the, the new spray paint. But the next clip should be it all back together, and I'm excited. This is gonna look really, this is gonna be a really pretty set. Oh, I'll turn the volume up. It's getting nice and loud. Why do I get stuck with them? Because you've got the most experience. Besides, after you get to know them. Oh, I'm boys. not going to take any crap off of them. If they get out of line, I'm going to knock them back in. Ross, Ross. Vibrating a little bit. Just do the best you can. If you can. I'm happy with this. I'm so glad that finally the last problem, the sink matching up, was, uh, was just fixed by uh, switching out the tube that was wrong. That's very frustrating. There were a lot of wrong tubes put in the wrong places in this set. So I'm very glad that it's over with. But yeah, man, I'm pumped. That's just, that's great. That's great news. So here's the shell repainted. Looks a lot better than it did. Sort of same, same coat or the same color. It still has a couple more coats to go and a little bit more sanding down to do, but I think it's gonna look really good to put all back together. All right, got the shell back. Looking really nice, this is the chassis. Show you the front. 
got the Zenith logo painted back on. Sorry, it's a little blurry, a little dark in here. Um, the pink pens I got, it's, I mean, these, this lettering right here is really small, so I don't think I'll be able to get that on. But, I mean, you can sort of read what it says. But I'm going to put this all back together and um, get a video of it all put back together. It's going to be a little bit of a task. I need to get back in the uh, tuner and the power power switch over there and all the knobs back on. But Oh, and uh, here's the top handle and the um, two things that hold the glass, the front glass panel in place. So yeah, I'll... Uh, update you in a second. Here it is in all of its glory. Oh, I am so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. It is beautiful. So I hooked up my DVD player and it wasn't picking up the signal, but it did before in the previous clip you saw. So I think the Philco that I'm repairing messed up the RF modulator in the DVD player so it doesn't show up correct on old sets anymore because it didn't work on the set either. So I'm hoping that the Philco is actually fixed and that the RF modulator in the DVD player is just messed up because it didn't work on this when I tried plugging it in. So this is this is working because I have the have a signal generator hooked up or pattern generator and look at this it's it's beautiful let me get it let me get in mess around with a few other settings oh oh yeah Oh yeah, this is just gorgeous. This image is just beautiful. Got the knobs back on it. This set is just, it's beautiful. I am so happy that it is all restored to its former glory. I am very excited. Let's see ya. This is it. Hopefully in the next, I'll try to add another clip. I need to get a new, uh, I guess, DVD player. I have another, another one I can hook up with. Hopefully the RF modulator is still good. And I'll show you a continuation there. But yeah, this is, this is gorgeous. Oh yeah, perfect.